In question 13, we're given five shapes, one, two, three, four, five, and we're asked to circle the pentagon. So let's write that word down, pentagon. And pentagon is simply a five-sided shape or five-sided polygon. I'm trying to learn these words. And here the word pent simply means five. Now, the pentagon must have four acute angles. Now, let's look at this word here, pentagon. It's got to have five sides or five edges. So, let's look at this. You have one two, three, four, and five. So that's a pentagon. Let's check this one. One, two, three, four, and five. That's a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. Now that didn't look like a pentagon, but it's got five sides or five edges, so that's fine. Now let's do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that is not a pentagon. And what is a six-sided shape? It's called a hexagon. Let's check this one. One two, three, four, five, six. So that's not a pentagon. So we've ticked all the pentagons. Now we need to look for all the pentagons that have got four acute angles. Now one thing you need to know about acute angles is that they are less than 90 degrees. So they're like a sharp point. So this angle is acute. So a 90 degree angle here is like the corner of your page and they use this little symbol to show that it's a right angle. So this is called a right angle. And try to remember that it's 90 degrees. Now we're looking for four angles in any of these that are acute, they have to be less than 90 degrees. Now, if I look at this angle here, this one here, I can see straight away that it's more than a corner of a page. And if I look at this angle here, I can see that that there is more than a corner of the page. And if I look carefully, every angle Every corner or every vertex here is more than 90. So that is not going to be the pentagon we need. Now let's look at this. You can see straight away from this little symbol, this little square, that that's 90 and that's 90. Now if you look here, this angle here is less than 90 degrees, that's fine. But if you look at this angle here, and this angle here, they're more than 90. So they're no good. These two are both 90. So this pentagon has only got one acute angle. So we don't use that one. Now, those two pentagons are no good. There's only one pentagon left. So I can tell from here that that's acute. This angle here is acute. Now, if I look at this one carefully, that one's acute. And this vertex or this corner, that's acute. So that's one, two, three, four. And we want four acute angles. 
Now this last angle here is not acute. It's got a special name which you might have come across. It's called a reflex angle. And it has to be more than 180 degrees. But don't worry about that. We need to know that it's got one, two, three, four acute angles. So that's the pentagon we're interested in. Now I want you to learn these words, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon and decagon. These words in blue, pent, hex, hept, oct, non and dec. If you can learn these, you can use these in all sorts of things in life. So remember, pent is 5, hex is 6, hept is 7, oct is 8, and you'll come across octopus. Non is 9, and dec is 10. In December, or decimal, or decade, so the prefix dec is important. So if you can learn these, it's very, very useful. In question 14... We're given that three pineapples cost the same as two mangoes and that one mango costs one pound 35 pence. So we need to work out the cost of one pineapple. So let's start here. We know one mango costs one pound 35. So two mangoes will cost two times one pound 35. So we can do it the easy way. We can do it as column addition. We can do one pound 35 plus one pound 35. So let's start here. Five add five is 10. So we put the zero here and we carry the one over to the next column. 3 add 3 is 6 add this one we've carried over is 7 so the 7 goes here now we have to be careful with this decimal point we have to line it up very carefully now 1 add 1 is 2 and because we're dealing with money we put down the pound sign so our two mangoes will cost two pounds 70 pence. Now we're told that three pineapples cost the same as two mangoes. And two mangoes cost two pounds 70. So two pounds 70. I will now share it between three pineapples. So I'm going to divide it by three. And I like to write this as £2.70 divided by 3. Now it's raining. So I'm going to build a bus shelter here. And put £2.70 inside. So £2.70. And the 3 has to go outside the bus shelter. Now my question is, how many threes are there in two? I can't get a three from this two, so I put zero. And that two I carry over, because it's like a remainder. So I put two there. So this seven becomes 27. Now I'm going to carefully put my decimal point above there. So it has to line up. Now my question is how many threes are there in 27? 
Now, if I know my times tables, I know it's nine. But let's check with our three times table. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 27. So we can stop there. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the nine goes up there. And finally, we're left with how many threes are there in zero? We can't get a three. And now that there is our answer. 0 0.90. So let me write this here. 0 0.90. Zero, And because we're dealing with money, we put the pound sign here. Now remember what we said. When you deal with money, you deal with two decimal places. So we have to leave that zero there. So our answer is, each pineapple costs 0 0.90, which is the same as 90 pence. Now remember, another way of doing your times tables, you should know that 10 times 3 is 30. And if you look at this 30, it's very close to the number 27 we were looking for. So what I can do is I can take away 3 from 30. And if I count backwards, it will be 29... 28, 27. So I've taken away 3 and I'm on 27. So I know 9 times 3 or 9 lots of 3 is 27. So my answer is 9 and that 9 goes up there.